certainly uh, a wee bit touch and go whether I'll be here tonight, but uh, here we are. No mai hari mai, ki te tino, whakahirahira nei, nga mihi nui ki a katoa katoa. Talu falawa, a matua, ma lauli sifua, a fia mai. Warm greetings tonight to this 2017 Sports Awards dinner. Very first bullet point, I, that first thing that sprung to my mind when I thought about tonight's speech was uh, that I had to halve last year's speech, so I'll only go for 20 minutes tonight. <laughs> it came from my wife, so I'm taking her advice. Uh, it's, it's a real honour and a privilege uh, to be here to speak about St Thomas Sport. Um, there's some really easy things to talk to about tonight, and one of those the boys have spoken to are the measurable things. So the participation rates were in the 90s again, uh, talking about the performance of our elite teams, uh, our senior teams including football league, uh, rugby, our junior teams, um, uh, rugby, basketball, football, the many, many individual titles that we'll hear tonight. And if you look at the size of that program, the number of boys that are making representative teams is just, it's absolutely massive. So I'm not going to go over all of the results. That's the easy thing to do. The one thing I did really want to speak about is this time last year, um, I spoke a lot about not worrying about outcomes, so not focusing on results. We talked about focusing on the process and focusing on the little things. And if we really concentrated on those things, we'd get the big results. And that certainly is what has happened this year. We talked about bringing in values-based coaching, which across all of our coaches, we've seen that happen. And when you combine process, not outcome, and you focus on values-based coaching, and you give young people belief, quite amazing things can happen. And that's what we've seen this year. There wouldn't be another school in the country that would have the results across the diversity of sports that we offer. It's quite remarkable. And um, it's really important that you don't take this stuff for granted. And tonight is a night of celebration. And it really is worth celebrating um, what the boys have done in combination with their coaches. On coaches, we are so lucky at St Thomas's to have some outstanding coaches. Um, I'm talking about parent coaches and staff coaches. And it's not just a case of having someone in front of all of our teams. It's a case of having really top quality <coughs> staff and parents that do understand the values that make our school so unique. It's, um, it's also a time of reflection for me personally, as this will be the last time that I um, speak as a head of sport at St Thomas's, and I, I've been reflecting a lot um, over the last 10 years of sport, just where we started and where we've got to now. There's two things that really stick out for me, um, and the first one is belief. 10 years ago, uh, we really had to battle hard for our boys to really believe that they could get national titles, win regional titles, and make representative teams. Now, when I look at our boys, that belief, it's not, it's not in question at all. It's deeply embedded in them. That's their starting point. The other thing is expectation. 10 years ago, the expectation was largely, are we gonna be in top sections? Are we gonna make tournaments? Now, the expectation is, are we gonna win tournaments? So those two things are by far um, the biggest increase when I reflect on sport at St Thomas's over the last 10 years, belief and expectation. The other thing, in, co uh, in combination with those, the numbers have just absolutely gone through the roof. Uh, your sons are part of uh, 90 plus percent participation rates, which, which is uh, as good as you're going to get um, nationally. The facilities that the boys now have access to are absolutely second to none. That's going to be uh, what I believe one of the one of the biggest changes that we'll see in our performance is the use of the new high performance centre that we've got at the school. So I um, I thank uh, the board of trustees for helping us uh, get that um, facility. And and of um, the coaching, I've already spoken about that. Uh, if you went through and looked at CVs of all of our coaches, particularly our staff coaches. Our boys have got access to the best information across all of the key sports um, that you can get. 
And when you combine all those things, you get the kind of results that we had this year. Um, I've been very lucky, my wife not so lucky. Uh, in the last month, of, I think I counted, been away 21 out of the last 27 days across a variety of different tours and tournaments. And the reason why I've been lucky is I've, I've spent time with 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds and 15-year-olds. And one of the things that I've really reflected on is how much boys change from one year to the next and how important it is for us as coaches and parents to understand the maturity level and to put them in situations that's going to help them grow. And one of the key questions that's, uh, that I've been thinking about a lot in the last month is how do we actually develop these young people? One of the things that I've seen in the last month is that we've got to understand what they are capable of and they're often capable of a lot more than what we think. And then we've got to set that bar above what they're capable of. We've got to give these boys the freedom to be independent. They're very capable. And as coaches and parenting for that matter, we've got to give these boys the opportunity to make mistakes and to fail. Because if we don't do that, uh, they're going to sit in a very comfortable uh, bubble, which is not going to help them develop a great deal. We've got to give these young guys the courage to make mistakes. And that's one of the things that we've seen this year and why we've got the results. We've put them in really uncomfortable situations. We've said to them, you are capable of competing at a national level. We believe in you, you can do it, train hard. And this year we've seen them come away with national titles and top four placings. When you think about um, mistakes and failure, you've got to have the courage to make mistakes. Courage is a really uh, a common word, but I started to really think, what does courage mean? And uh, the person who gave me um, the best understanding of that was uh, Nelson Mandela. So just to quote, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. And that's the key thing, you're always going to be afraid of failing, you don't want to let yourself and the people that love you down. But the minute you're too scared to put yourself in those situations, that's when uh, you've given in to fear. So boys, a big challenge is don't be fearful. The other thing I guess I come to uh, my end as head of sport at St. Thomas's is, what is sport? What is it all about? Why do we do this? It can be about winning and losing. It can be about forging a professional career. It can be about fame and fortune, trophies and medals, ego, all of those sorts of things. But to me it's not. That's not why we do it here at school. That's not why we promote our young men to be involved in sport. Sport, most simply, is practice for life. As simple as that. It's an environment we can put our young men in where they can learn what it's like to live in the big wide open world. We can teach them through sport how to handle success how to handle disappointment, how to handle challenges, and especially challenges that are out of their control because it happens in sport. We can teach them how to be adaptable, how to prepare, and most importantly, we can teach them commitment. And to me, this is one of the biggest learnings we our young men can take out of sport, how to be committed to something. Because when you're truly committed, anything is possible. <coughs> commitment means you are all in. It is not about doing things when it is convenient, occasionally only when you are willing or feel good about yourself. Commitment is constantly being the best version of yourself, or as uh, one of the 11 year olds I coached this year said to me, doing the right things when no one is watching. They are the key things that you can learn through being involved in sport. I've got a number of thank yous um, tonight, and the first one the first thank yous is to uh, Daniel Kahura and Nev Brooker, for you two gentlemen. Could, uh, could you guys just come up here for a second? And I really want to acknowledge the effort that you two men have put into sport at St. Thomas's, but also organising an event like this tonight. It's really easy to come here tonight and um, just think it'll happen, but these, boys, these men have put um, months and months into this. And to have 350 people present tonight to really acknowledge the success of our, our young men, what is a really special night comes down to these uh, fine young gentlemen. So if you please put your hands together.
also want to thank um, the 75% of our staff that coach and manage sports teams. You guys do an amazing job and you understand that coaching sport is not about the sport, it's about forming relationships with your students. And you know that on a Monday, you've got a stronger relationship from your involvement in working with these young people in a sporting context. So I thank you and I understand how much time you put into your sport. It's not something that you just do, but it's something that you believe in. And I also thank your families for giving you, permission's not the right word, but it kind of is it sometimes, give you the, uh, the ability to put so much extra time into the young men at St. Thomas's. So parents, if you could join me please in um, giving the start. But thank you to our parent coaches and managers. Um, as the numbers of uh, participants continues to go through the roof, it is um, with, without parent coaches and managers, the number of teams won't be able to keep growing. So thank you very much for your help and buying into it. And it's not easy. It's not easy to turn up in front of a group of kids that you don't know and coach them. And they have the expectations of um, what, the, what the boys may have. So I really thank you for your contribution. And uh, it's easy to think that, oh, someone else will do it. But to those that stepped up this year, I, uh, I deeply thank you. So if we could give them a big round of applause. <laughs> To the parents here tonight, thank you for being a financial backer for your sons, a taxi driver, a laundromat, a nutritionist, a psychologist, being there for the whole journey. You, you see the high points and the low points. And you know, on the most part, 100% supportive of what we do here with our sport at St. Thomas's. So thank you for allowing your sons to support our sports program at St. Thomas's. Uh, the next person I want to thank is uh, someone that allows me to give a massive amount of time um, to coaching, which I deeply believe in and are incredibly passionate about. So I know she's somewhere here tonight. Sam, thank you for giving me that freedom to get out there. And go and lastly, boys that are here tonight, and I, I thank you boys for giving up so many hours, for being open to listening to your coaches, to be uh, prepared to put all that extra pre-season work in, and to continue to work towards being the best version of yourselves. I thank you men, and I look forward to continuing to see you develop as young people. It is an absolute privilege to be able to come to St. Thomas's each morning and share in the lives of our young men, to watch them grow and develop, the ups and downs as they proceed on their journey. I look forward to 2018 with anticipation and excitement, and I challenge the boys in this room tonight to take the lessons learned in your experiences in sport and apply them to all areas of your lives, in your studies, in your relationships, in your cultural endeavours, and in the way that you conduct yourself day to day. I'll finish by using a Steve Hansen quote to summarise what we hope our young men take from sport. This is a quote he used to describe what he is trying to achieve by coaching the All Blacks, and it's very simple. What we hope our young men take from sport. At the end of it all, we're about growing good human beings. It's literally as simple as that. Whafatai lava, I am one where, le afia afia, Soi pua, kia kaha, kia maa, kia mana wanui, mōreira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.